the economy is getting worse. You know, the economy is collapsing. The housing market is dropping. Inflation is going sky high. You know, China is struggling. Russia is still invading into Ukraine, right? A lot of issues, food shortages. We got power outages, right? Energy crisis, right? A gas crisis, you know, labor shortage. These issues keep going on and on. And honestly, it really is getting worse. But I come on here and I talk about how, you know, there's certain things happening within the economy. I want to give you a quick little economic update. Now, and I'm, I absolutely love this, but many people question where I'm getting my information from. And one person, they said, and I quote, I've been watching the news and I've not heard anything about any of that. Another person actually came on and said, just the other day, uh, if I'm getting my information from a made up movie, because again, they're not seeing it on CNN and Fox News and, and all these big media outlets. They're just not seeing it. One person even said this, I quote, dude, I live in Houston, or I live near Houston, and I'm not seeing any shortages of food. We have plenty. But I also get comments like this. This person says, and I quote, you are right about the food shortages hurting average people. I live in a small town in Pennsylvania, and we have seen less shipments come into our town. Stores are closing earlier than normal. Businesses are getting broken into almost every single night. And the conversation around town is, when will this get better? Because prices are only going up. Now, I bring this up because again, just because you are not seeing a shortage in your area doesn't mean it's not happening in another area. Doesn't mean it will not happen in your area. For example, right now, and let's just, let's just use the housing crisis or the, it's not really a crisis yet, let's use the housing pullback as an example. In certain areas, for example, uh, you know, in Boise, Idaho, prices of homes are dropping. They're dropping fairly quickly. But does that mean we're seeing prices drop in Houston, Texas, in Seattle, Washington, right? In Miami, Florida? No, that doesn't mean it's dropping everywhere. It is very targeted to specific areas. And so it's the same thing that's happening with, with these food shortages, with an energy crisis, because energy prices are up. I think we can all agree and let me know in the comment section below. Are you paying more on your energy bill as well? But I think we can all agree energy prices are up. But here's the thing. If you live in a state where it's not very hot, so exclude uh, well, Washington, Oregon, California, right? Nevada, Arizona, right? Texas, New Mexico. I can go on and on, start working my way across the United States. I'm not gonna do that. But if you take out those states, you take out the states that are, the, the residents are paying more for electricity, are paying more because it is so hot and you're trying to stay cool. You take out some of those states and you probably think, well, things aren't that bad, right? It's not that expensive. Well, I wanna read this to you because it's not just about the energy crisis. It's not just about you know the economy and inflation. I wanna talk about food shortages. I got this message uh, it's from a mom who's a, who has a family of four. She said, and I quote, in June, you talked about a shortage of chicken and turkey. And I thought you were joking. I have, I've never seen a shortage of either item where I live, but just this week, I was informed that the restaurant where I work won't be selling any items with turkey on them as we have run out and don't have any order uh, for more coming through. The high school where my husband works also stopped selling turkey sandwiches due to them not being able to get it either. So you were right. Now, I just wanna be very clear on something. It doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong, okay? It doesn't matter to me if I'm wrong, but I give you a, a little warning that, hey, this is happening across the United States or in certain parts, and it doesn't happen in your area. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm thankful for that. I do not wanna see shortages. I don't wanna see an energy crisis. I don't wanna see uh, rolling blackouts. Okay, I don't wanna see any of that stuff. Okay, but I wanna say one thing. 
just because you are not experiencing a shortage of chicken or turkey or potatoes or anything else doesn't mean others are not. So this is one of the reasons why I continue to come on and, and provide these quick little updates is because there are certain people that are, are actually actually experiencing this. And if, if we can uh, share a video uh, on Facebook to your friends and family that maybe are spread out across the country, some may be experiencing this exact same thing. So again, it's just a little warning to them. But again, uh, let, me, let me just give you an example here. Uh, months ago when I talked about, or actually last year, not months ago, last year when I talked about uh, the power outages in Texas, right? Again, this was last year. This was really only for residents in the South or in Texas. It didn't pertain to everybody. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And again, just this week when I warned people um, that live in California that there was a, war a, a warning of a rolling blackouts this weekend due to the excessive heat and the, the heat wave, right? It could impact more people, but again, it's very, it's very specific to just California. So now I, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, everybody gets the same, same warnings because, and, and again, when I talked about, uh, you know, chickens, and turkeys and them being cold, um, you know, a few months back, right? It was very specific to the Midwest, but it doesn't mean we are not gonna be impacted, right? And again, things are gonna get worse before they get better. That's just the way things work. But I wanna give you this other warning as well, because just this week alone, uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin, they actually reported uh, new bird flu cases as well. And I believe it's about 130, 130,000 birds are going to be cold again. Okay, food experts are actually predicting that the price of chicken, uh, turkey, and eggs are going to increase over the next couple of months, especially when Thanksgiving is like 80 some days away. Now, again, this is just part of the the issue. The other issue is, and this this is from the the report that came out this morning from the jobs report is that payrolls increased by 315,000 jobs. We actually saw, and we've been seeing this for a while, is that we are seeing more people go back to work. And as more people go back to work, it causes more demand because now people have the income to go and sustain uh, you know, eating out and, and shopping and doing all these other things, okay? So I want you to listen to this warning from one chief economist. And he says, and I quote, it's really getting worse. The economy is not getting better. There are more job openings uh, than in the past year. Wages continue to rise. The supply chain disruptions are not going away. China is about to collapse. Russia is not backing down and will limit energy to much of the world. And inflation is not under control in the United States or in any other country for that matter. So this is just a warning. Things are getting worse. It's really getting worse. And then, and I talked about this just the other day where on September 15th, we could potentially see a strike from US rail workers. Uh, I've talked about you know different things in the past where if the Federal Reserve doesn't get inflation under control, the problem is we're gonna have runaway inflation or hyperinflation, and if we see that, then most of the lower income households and middle income households are not gonna be able to afford just the basic necessities like food, rent, utilities, right? It's gonna be very difficult. So again, I'm not here to uh, try to you know, spread fear. Okay, I, I honestly try not to do that because things, things will get better eventually, but the big, big issue is as we get more and more uh, supply chain disruptions, as we see more people uh, get wage increases, it's going to cause inflation to go higher. As it does, we will be able to afford less, okay? So just understand, my warning to you guys is not that the world is gonna completely just fall apart and we might as well just you know fall off the face of the earth. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we need to be ready, we need to be prepared, and just understand if we prepare now, it's gonna save us money from the future, all right? So again, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. I love reading your comments. A lot of times I don't answer the comments 
uh, in the actual comments. Usually what I do is I read the comments, I take some of the comments, and I do a video on those exact things. So that's kind of what I do. Again, if you have any questions, please ask your questions down in the comment section below, and I will do a video to answer that exact comment. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.